And today we're talking about uh, MCAT and coronavirus because the coronavirus and COVID-19 and social distancing, a lot is happening right now. And so I want to make sure you guys, I got a lot of emails from you guys concerned about what you should be doing. Should you reschedule? How does it affect your medical school admissions? What is going on? What should you do for studying? So we're going to address a lot of that today. Get ready, guys. Here we go. But stop making excuses. Stop whining. Stop, right? Get at it. No excuses, just dominate. All right, guys, so like I said, we are discussing MCAT preparation and MCAT test dates in the era of social distancing. So we're gonna break it down because a lot of you guys have emailed me and been concerned about this. So let's get to it. Uh, what is up, guys? Um, Kushik, Sally, Nina, what's up? Kushik, thank you very much. I'm glad you just got into, Paul, I'm glad you just got into the MCAT course and you realize now that you've been approaching the MCAT all wrong, that's the whole point of my MCAT course is to really get you guys to foundational understanding what the real data is about studying and actually how to have a fundamentally sound approach to the MCAT. So like I said, today we're talking about MCAT and COVID and what it means for your testing. And the first thing I wanna say is all of you guys out there who are pushing through this, I applaud you guys. It is a difficult time. I mean, I'm an older person, I'm a mature person, um, but it's still, it's crazy, right? This is crazy. This is our first kind of, I guess, like modern in my lifetime, like real kind of crisis. I mean, 9-11 was a crisis, but I didn't necessarily feel at immediate risk. I didn't feel like our society was going to crumble. I feel like with coronavirus, there's a lot going on right now. There's a lot in flux um, in terms of what's happening. So I applaud all of you guys for being mature and for stepping up and holding it together and continuing to try to move forward. So I encourage all of you guys, if you get nothing else from today, understand that the world will go on, your future is still bright, and you should be using this time wisely to set yourself up for that bright future, okay? Um, with that being said, it, to, to frame this video, it's important to understand that coronavirus, as is the COVID-19, is a new virus to us. We don't know what it's going to do, what the impact's gonna be, how treatable things are gonna happen with the mortality rate. We don't know any of these things exactly, right? We're getting more and more data every day, but because of that, things are changing rapidly and there's a lot unknown about the situation, which is why you see our president one, say, one day say everything's gonna be okay, to the next day saying, oh my gosh, everyone get in your houses because things are changing rapidly. And as a result, organizations and businesses and things are adjusting, trying to keep up with the changes and make things happen and trying to make decisions in a murky future. Does that make sense to everybody? So with the coronavirus right now, the social distancing policies we have in place, um, we don't know how long the social distancing is gonna last. We don't know if there's gonna be stricter protocols. We don't know what's going to happen and we don't know how long it's gonna last in general in terms of this coronavirus epidemic. And so because of that, we can't have precise information about what's gonna happen for your MCAT. But what I wanted to do was give you guys some thinking pieces for you guys to make wise decisions about it. So let's start with this. You guys know the MCAT is offered at test centers across the country, okay? These test centers are, are Pearson testing centers. Um, and so they're like official testing centers. You have to your ID, you go in the computer room, you sit there with a bunch of people right next to you, all taking the test, getting ready uh, to get into medical school. Um, what is up guys? Sarah, Kasim, Hadi, what up? Tahara, what's going on? Nicholas, hello. Uh, Kalisa, hello, that's a new name. Um, so uh, with that being said, you normally have to go to these secure testing centers they slowly, just a couple days ago, announced that they were canceling a couple dates here and there where there have been cases popping up. Um, but now with the new uh, administrative policies that are put in place by our government to make people be six feet apart and to close kind of crowded areas to slow the spread, Pearson has responded to that. And they've actually gone ahead and canceled many, many test dates for the month of March, for the month of April, and even some May test dates. So for the next six weeks, it's a little murky whether you guys can be able to take tests or not. Let's get to the first question, right? Which is if they've closed, Pearson has closed down testing for the next six weeks-ish, six weeks -ish, what does that mean for you guys testing? Will it open up soon? I don't think so, guys. I think at the earliest, these testing centers will start opening up again in six weeks. I think more realistic is that June, is that they'll start maybe having test centers open in June. And so because of that, right, what everyone's worried about is that you guys all know when you apply to medical school, you wanna have your MCAT in in order to be complete in your application, in order to get serious consideration. Well, if you can't take the MCAT like you were scheduled in April or in May, 
you know it takes about a month to get your results back, so you're not going to have your results back in time for a June 1st deadline, which is, oh no, don't fret. <laughs> There's a couple things that can happen here. The one thing is that everything can stay the same in the sense that maybe there is no testing offered, right? And medical schools continue to want that test, in which case some of you guys are going to have to push your application back a year. I know, that's the worst case scenario, right? Is that medical schools say that we want the MCAT and the testing centers are not able to open and you're not able to take it. And so you're gonna have to push your application back a year. If that happens, all things happen for a reason. It's not the end of the world, you'll be okay. Um, and you'll apply next year. And you can use this year to kind of get yourself prepared for what that journey is gonna be. I think what may happen, this is, I guess, the next most likely thing to happen, is that Pearson test centers are going to do spaced testing. Meaning they're going to, because we have this, this rule about six feet apart. And I actually went to the DMV, which sounds crazy, but I had to go to the DMV because I had to get a real ID for my hospital credentialing. Because um, as you guys know, I'm an anesthesiologist. And so my hospital credentialing all of a sudden is due right now coming up and I have to have a real ID. I figured it was better to go now before everyone's infected. Uh, so I went to the DMV, but it was really cool because at the DMV, they had everyone standing outside in the line in like marked spaces where you had to be six feet apart. And then there was no one inside the DMV except for the workers. And so they were calling people in one at a time to go into the DMV to reduce uh, the amount of close contact with people, which is really cool. But I think that Pearson may try to do something like that where they space. So instead of having 30 people in a room taking the test, maybe they have five people in the room taking the test at a time and they offer more time intervals with stricter cleaning protocols. And from what I understand, Pearson was actually trying to stay open in spite of all this stuff, but they ran out of cleaning supplies and were unable to keep up with the demand of cleaning up after people. And so I think that's kind of played a role here. So I think that may happen. And if that happens, guys, then there's going to be spots for you guys to take it and maybe you can still apply this year. The other thing that's a slight change that may happen that maybe opens up for you guys is that medical schools will give people a grace period. So in the past, right, your application really wasn't complete until you had the MCAT, but maybe medical schools will say, you know what, there's a lot of people who are supposed to take your MCAT, they're not able to yet, but we still wanna be able to process their applications, so we're gonna allow them a grace period, we're gonna consider their application complete without the MCAT, but we're gonna require the MCAT for a secondary like want to submit your secondary or we're gonna require an MCAT in order to be able to interview or something like that, where it's kind of like a conditional um, completion of your application they move through, okay? So that's the second tier. First tier is nothing changes, you guys can't apply this year. Second tier is that, okay, now we open up limited testing or medical schools give you a grace period, in which case you still can apply this year. The third thing that can happen is that Pearson can make the decision to allow everyone to test at home. And you guys maybe have done this before where you've had tests for your classes that are given to you guys in your home. They have a program that locks up your computer, right? And you're able to take a monitored exam on your computer from the comfort of your home. So that's a possibility as well. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Um, the MCAT makers are very serious about the confidentiality of their test. So they may not allow Pearson to do that, but that might be an option. Um, if that happens, then everyone's gonna be in a position where they can take it. It's gonna be hooray, we can take our test and go on with our lives. Um, the other thing that can happen for the medical school side is that medical schools can decide that they are going to waive the MCAT requirement for this upcoming cycle. I doubt that's going to happen. That's a very long shot, um, but it could be something that can happen. So with all these pending possible scenarios, right, depending on how long coronavirus is a problem for us, how long we have social distancing protocols, how stringent those social distancing protocols are, what should you guys be doing as students, right? That becomes the question. So be sure you just put in the box here. Hi, Dr. Pine said, I'm still scheduled to take the MCAT on April 25th, but they haven't canceled my test date. Should I reschedule to June or should I wait? And here's what I would say to people. I think it is in your best interest to keep your current scheduled date. And the reason I say this is because we don't know what's going to happen. And if you go ahead and give up your slot and get a later slot, even though they're probably going to cancel your test date, it may mess up your ability to get your money back in terms of flexible scheduling because right now they're allowing people whose test dates are rescheduled to reschedule without any fees. So if you reschedule, you may have to pay a fee depending on how close your test date is. The other thing is, is I'm not sure how they're going to do it, but if there's some kind of change in how they administer tests, you want to be already scheduled so that way you can be hired if there's a lottery system for slots or whatever it might be, right? So I would say keep your test date scheduled. And the other reason I say this is because even if you reschedule, so some people are trying to reschedule for like September and the thought process there is, right? Oh, okay, if I schedule, I get that date locked in. 
But if you're trying to apply this cycle, does a September test date help you? Right? It, does a September test date help you if you are trying to apply this cycle? What do we think? Right? The answer is no, it doesn't help you because that is too late in the application cycle. It's going to affect your application preparedness, right? So it's too late anyway, so you might as well keep your early test date in case something changes to put you in play for this cycle. If you have not scheduled your test date yet, I think probably the safest thing to do is to push it until like September um, at the earliest, but not apply this cycle. So if you haven't scheduled already, I think you're gonna have a difficult time scheduling your exam and a reasonable window to be able to get in for this cycle. And I think August is too late as well, right? So Manny's asking, is what about August? It's too late, guys. We want our MCAT in early in the cycle, early summer. And if medical schools are gonna require and not give you a grace period, August, September, are too late. Too late to take the MCAT, okay? For you guys who have scheduled MCAT test dates or you're thinking about taking the MCAT either in the summer or in the fall, and you're like, well, wait a minute, what should I do in terms of my studying? Should I stop studying since test dates are being canceled? Absolutely not, guys. As I said at the start of this video, the world's gonna go on. What you don't wanna do is to pull back and hit the brakes on your studying and have something change and have test dates become available and you aren't prepared to jump on it. So I encourage all of you guys who are preparing or who are about to start preparing for upcoming MCAT test dates or potential MCAT test dates to keep studying, to study like that's a firm test date, like that's the only option you have so that way you're preparing yourself just in case. Because worst case scenario, if you aren't able to test on that date, at least you kept up your preparation so that way you can continue to prep for as long as you need to and you haven't lost all the good learning you've done. So I encourage everyone to act like this isn't happening and like test dates are coming up and to keep studying. Yes, yes. So assuming that medical schools, the question is what's the latest you can take the MCAT and still apply this cycle? It really depends. So if medical schools don't provide a grace period, then you don't want to take your MCAT after June. You don't want to take a June later than an MCAT later than June because it takes a month to come back. So if you take an August MCAT, your MCAT doesn't come back till September, which means your application doesn't get considered till September when people are already interviewing. Yes. So this is why this is a big problem for people in this period where it's like, wait a minute, I need this MCAT to be able to apply. I need it early because when we say, what do we say always? When we apply to med school, we apply early, we apply complete, right? And we comply, we apply our best. So early, complete, and our best is the key to successfully applying to medical school. Does that make sense to everybody? No, and a May test date is not too late, but you don't wanna have a test date after June, that's too late. Yes, and someone's asking about um, study tips for MCAT while you're at home. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of these videos, guys, about coronavirus and how it's changing life for students in pre-med. So we will cover studying for the MCAT. And actually, I'm gonna do, because um, someone asked me if I would do a whole webinar. So I'm actually gonna do an entire MCAT webinar uh, for you guys geared towards how you guys should be shifting your studying and thinking about your studying when you're on um, social distancing. So. Be sure to check that out. I'll put it in the link in the in the description below. Not yet, because this just kind of came to me today as people were emailing me, but I will be putting a link below in this box. So if you see this after it's live, because we are live right now, um, there'll be a description there for you guys, or a link there in the description for you guys to register for a free MCAT webinar. While you guys wait, I have a, in the box below um, a link to a free study webinar that'll help you guys. It's called No Class, <laughs> No Problem to help you guys learn how to study independently from home during the social distancing time. So that's a free webinar. You can register below um, in the box below to check that out. If you guys want to see that um, as we continue this guys, there's a lot happening right now. Things are going to change. They're going to change rapidly. This video might be out of date tomorrow. I don't even know, which is why I'm going to be bringing updates to you guys throughout this process about varying aspects of your journey. But it's important that you guys understand the key takeaways from today. One, MCAT test dates are currently being canceled for April and even some May dates. They are probably going to cancel more test dates. Likely the only way you're going to be able to take your MCAT in April or May is if 
they change testing policies and either do spaced testing or they allow you to test in your home because this coronavirus thing is going to stretch into the summer. Additionally, there can be changes in the medical school side in terms of their policies that may also impact how you consider this cycle. But for people who are applying this cycle, it's going to be very interesting for you guys. I'm going to talk about admissions. I'm going to talk about your person. I'm going to talk about all that stuff in videos coming up. But it's going to be very interesting for you guys because you are in, again, just like they are, you're in a situation where it's limbo, right? You don't know, ooh, what should I be doing? What should I be thinking about? So it's going to be very interesting in how you guys approach this application cycle as the unknown. And with all things, right, the way you can prepare best for the unknown, for the, for the chaos and uncertainty the future may bring is to always be your best and to always be prepared. So as you guys go through your application cycle, what you should be thinking about is how can I make my application the best possible? If you need that MCAT score, go get that MCAT score. Take the time to do it and do it right, right? If you're like, you know what? I've already taken the MCAT once and I want to roll the dice in the application cycle. Maybe you try that, but always try to be your best as you apply because it will make a difference in your prospects. Does that make sense to everybody? Um, yes, that's all I got. I'm tired today, guys. I've been working a lot at the hospital. The hospitals are busy right now. Uh, corona cases are starting to roll in. Um, just because you don't have a confirmed corona case in your area doesn't mean it actually isn't happening. So protect yourselves. Stay in your house. Be mature about it. If you are studying for the MCAT, guys, I'm, I'm going to talk about studying for the MCAT. But make sure that you guys are protecting yourself. You're studying at home. You're studying in sterile places, and you're not out infecting other people. Just because you are young and you don't feel like you're going to die from this coronavirus doesn't mean you can't spread it to your older loved ones uh, who are at risk. So everyone, be prepared for the opportunity. Even if it isn't there for you immediately, it will come. Prepare yourself. Keep preparing like you mean it, all right? If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like it. Make sure you guys comment. Let me know what questions you guys have about your MCAT studying, about your pre-med process, about your student process with classes moving online. And like I said, if you want to know how to study better for your classes while you're at home, I put together a free webinar for you. You can register right down below in the description box. Thank you guys very much for joining me. I'm going to go sit myself down and get some sleep today. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys. How do we always end? How do we always end? All right, before we end here, Kasim says, the five pillars really helped me um, keep my cool during this period. I love to hear that, Kasim. Thank you for sharing that. If you guys want to learn how to study independently, I have my five pillars course. Please check that out. This is the best time as any, right? You get no classes. Like you, you're at home, you have all the extra time. Learn how to use that time. Learn how to study. Learn how to be a boss, right? Let's end it. No excuses. Just dominate, guys. See you later. Today is the day, guys. No more excuses. No more complaining. You're going to take your future in your own hands. You're going to dominate. You're going to be successful. Get to my website, studenttransformation.com. I challenge you. What are you going to do today to make your life better?